Hi, ladies. Welcome to your Divine Feminine Tarot of Majestic Sovereignty. My name is Chanel. For those of you who this is your first time here, and I'm with Lizzie's Charm. I am a tarot reader, and I support women in reconnecting with their wholeness through their their wholeness <laughs> through their menstrual cycles, and um, I also offer moon rituals, whether that is um, putting them together or doing them yourself. So I have a few announcements right now. Lizzie Charm has a contest going on. It's over on my Instagram page, which you can find the link below in the description. And it's basically, you just simply interact, like, um, share if you would like tag me when you share. So I know that you share it. Also, you can comment as well. You can do all three. It doesn't matter. Each one is one tally. So you can have at it however many you want to. And then we also still have the $27 anything reading going on. So this is like one of those general readings. You can ask anything. You just get general information, general cards pulled, you know, and really, um, just see where you're at in the moment. And that'll be $27 until the end of February. It'll still be available after February, but it won't be $27 anymore. So definitely take advantage of that while you can, if you can. So we are gonna get into this reading. This is gonna be a pick a card and I'm gonna use the Astro Dice here. So you're basically choosing between planets, which is the blue, so that's number one, planets. I hope you can see that okay. I can't see it well from here, but you guys may be able to, maybe receiving it differently. And then the next is zodiac signs. It's green or number two, pile two. And then we have houses, which is purple or pile three. So if you need to take a moment, you know, to just kind of get centered and um, take a couple of breaths and see which one is drawn to you, what your intuition is guiding you towards. And if that is, if you are having some difficulty connecting with your intuition, just pick one. You know, there's no right or wrong way to do this. Um, but definitely, um, I want to encourage you all to uh, practice with connecting with your intuition because that is going to uh, support you in moving forward in, you know, just what it is that you need to know for yourself, where you're going and all of those things. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to shuffle the cards here. I'm going to put the camera down so that you can see the cards as I am laying them out. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and I'll see you all in just a bit. Okay, hey pile one. So we have the planets here. I'm gonna go ahead and roll this and see what planet comes out for you. Yeah, so we have the moon card. So you may be um, feeling very connected to your emotions. Moon card, the planet, the moon. Um, you may be feeling very connected to your emotions. Um, perhaps you have been uh, experiencing some shifting in your emotions, especially with the times and where it is that we are right now. And just recalibrating your energy um, in a way that have you, has you feeling more stable and more able to be in your effort to move forward within your will and in trusting and having faith in things. Um, You may also be feeling like you may need to put some boundaries up for yourself from getting and perhaps uh, 
these boundaries is what is going to support you in um, finding and tapping into the security and stability it is that you are desiring to have within your life, you know, so that you can have the freedom it is that you need and be able to really do what it is that you want to do um, and really manifest life in a way that you would like to, right? So um, perhaps you may also need to call on some who can help you in doing this, um, doing whether that is in doing favors or, um, you know, and this is people that you, that you know, that you can trust, you know, and uh, that can also help point out the things that you may not be able to see for yourself um, in a way that is going to allow you to move forward and continue forward on what it is that you're doing. I should say it's almost as if you're like at the precipice, at this final step and need to, and are about to cross over, but just needing to continue to um, see that you can, right? And being, and need to really follow your intuition and a move beyond any illusions that may have you, that may have you be believing that it is not possible, All right? So let's see what the cards have for you today. So the first cards come out is the four swords, and this is your subconscious card. Um, so it seems that you may be in this space within you of kind of stillness, you know, not really um, attaching your mind space to anything, just trying to heal in a sense in this space of meditation, or perhaps you are needing to meditate in order to find some stability within your mind um, and needing to take a break. Perhaps there may have been some type of heartbreak that has followed you from here and it has kind of triggered a, a subconscious pattern that is continuing to play itself out in your life and it's just a need to take a moment to disconnect from that so that you can further align to um where is that the really align to the truth of things or what is actually there so in your conscious mind we have the sun card all right so you are perhaps uh, it with this sun card coming out it feels like that you um are taking the time to do the healing, to uh, release any old wounds, any old hurts, you know, that you have been holding on to that have been creating patterns within you. And consciously, you know, really focusing on fulfillment, on happiness and joy, you know, connection and creative expression, but also on your, um, you know, feeling innocent in your inner child energy. Perhaps you're also uh, focusing on your children if you have some. This can also be speaking to romance as well. The moon card came out, so maybe you were um, focused on romance within your home with your with your partner, with your spouse, you know, and um, really just trying or really focusing on getting the joy back within your life or uh, staying within a space of joy and fulfillment within your home home within your life, you know, and um, to bloom and blossom and shine and wherever it is that you are, that that's how you are seeing things at this time. So it's a really good space to be in. Now, if you are in a space that you are, because some, some of you are in this space where you need to take time to heal these emotional patterns, right, and kind of um, missing the signs, like it is almost as if you need to uh, take time to see the light in the situation um, or with within yourself in general so that you can move forward and do the healing work which you're actually going to have to take time to pause to get still to meditate to go within um, and you know just let that energy move so more can come up in a way that allow you to do the healing and reconnect with your inner child um, versus a feeling, what's the word, lackluster, you know, because the sun reversed, it's, it, it has no shine, you know, it's almost um, a feeling, a sense of fear, 
in being able to show up, um, whether that is in a relationship or with children or just within yourself and being seen for who it is that you are. So uh, let's continue forward. The next card is your the body quadrant. So here we have the material. The material aspect, you have an ace of wands. And so you may be um, gathering some new things um, and doing this very quickly. There may be some changes uh, to your material possessions. You may be finding new ways to receive this and, and, and go about um, bringing this in and having this within your life. Um, you know, also, it, you may just be feeling very, um, like you've reached a new uh, point in your material possession world that you want to hold on to, you know, feeling very excited about that feeling. This is having you feel very inspired, feeling active, you know, and ignited in a way that is going to facilitate you to be able to do more, it feels like. And perhaps this will support you in, in moving forward in the healing it is that you have been working on or um, des been desiring to work on. So your well-being, you have the Hermit card. So with the Hermit card here, um, you may just be focusing on your health. The Hermit is a Virgo energy and Virgo is the sign of health. It's of wellness you know, your daily routines, um, perhaps you were focusing on that. If not, then that is, this is a good time to begin focusing on your health, uh, getting a good health regimen, a good workout regimen, um, a good heat eating regimen as well, really nurturing and nourishing yourself. But it, it, some of you are um, just really focused on putting one foot in front of the other, you know, focusing on the day-to-day -day things, you know, and that's really keeping you grounded and sound within yourself. You know, you're seem to be following your inner light and what it has and what that means for you when it comes to your health and wellness. So with where it is that you're embodying, you have the world card here. So with the world car card here, this is basically speaking of um, an ending of an old cycle. You have graduated a stage in your life and moving on to greater heights, higher heights. You know, really, you are feeling like you've in this, you're in this place of accomplishing what you sought out to do. You know, and a new cycle is about to begin for you. Um, for you to take on what it is that you have attained up until this point, up until now, and um, utilize it to grow further, really to continue to expand in your world and where it is that you are going. You could also be feeling like that, um, that things are moving a little bit slowly for you, or maybe you are just feeling okay with living a very slow life, you know, feeling very, um, connected to or that is helping you feel connected being very practical and methodical about what it is that you're doing and how you're going about it you know so that you can uh, be focused enough to really put in the steps put in the work that you know needs to be done in your life in order to continue to bring in um, your reality in a way that is prosperous to you Either way, this is a really good place to be. Now, some of you are needing to end an old cycle. Um, maybe you are feeling blocked and limited in your ability to be able to do this in some sense and a need to do, need to recognize that it's a matter of doing the work, whatever that work looks like for you. Um, in whatever part of your life that you are feeling stuck and stagnant and not able to really move forward in a way that is uh, manifesting abundance in your world, right? So just taking the time to really 
see the devil in the details, I should say, so that you can take care of those things and really be able to move forward with that. So the next card we have here is, this is your overall spirit. So you are focused on moving forward at a very quick pace. This is the Ace of, Eight of Wands. And Okay, so you are definitely seeing things differently. And through this, this is allowing you to be able to move forward at a rapid pace in a way that you haven't before, you know, really be able to expand on what it is that, um, that you have been moving toward in your life, but really just being able, feeling confident and able-bodied in being able to um, be on your journey, be on your path, you know, feeling that you have everything that you need, you have the understanding that you need, you, and if you don't, you know that you can go and learn this, you know, that you can go and um, connect with spirit in the event that you need to. Perhaps you may also be in candle workings, into candle magic, into fire, uh, aspects of spirituality. So with the next card, which is the overall spiritual energy that you have, what is this? I'm sorry, this is your spiritual practice. The spiritual practice is the Two of Cups. So this Two of Cups is, you may be it may be serving you best to connect to your intuition, connecting um, to your psychic abilities in a way that can uh, support you in seeing clearly. Uh, this is feeling like a third eye activation that's needing to happen um, so that you can tap into your clairvoyant nature and so that you can, um, and if you have already been doing this, continue to do this, but this is, supporting you in recognizing your wholeness, right? Seeing you as the, the entire being, you know, the entire story for what all of it happened from and what it offered you, you know, and really being able to uh, grow and deepen within your uh, energetic spiritual frequency in a way that helps you feel very grounded. It helps you feel very stable but also helps you feel very connected in a sense when it comes to the alignment of your understanding and the knowing things that you're just not sure how you know them you know so the last card here with this section is the emotions so for emotions you have the five of swords so you may be conflicted a bit when it comes to how it is that you're feeling. Um, and this has to do with your thought patterns, which goes back to this Two of Cups energy with this spiritual practice. So really a need to get grounded, get um, solid within yourself, within your feelings. You know, maybe needing to write down how it is that you're feeling and go into what um, what is it that has you feeling this way right and in feeling this way how does this serve you what does this uh reflect in your life what does this manifest in your life because whatever feelings are going on um you seem to have already realized it right but it, it didn't come without some some type of uh uh mental clutter first you know, you it's like you had to work through your understanding of things so that you could really be able to, um, so that you can really be able to get into this full sun expression of being confident within who it is that you are and shining and being seen. And so really take the time to reconnect with yourself, to connect, um, with that inner child, with your inner intuition, connect with your cycle phases as well, because the Two of Cups, it does speak of moon energy, 
And so a need to really just connect with your inner light, your inner womb, so that you can cut out any outside voices, right? Because um, swords are about communication. So if there has been anyone that you have been um, listening to, or if there have been any type of relationship that has you feeling conflicted about who it is that you are, it's also important that you acknowledge that so that you can um, be honest about one, one, be honest about how you're feeling. Then once you're honest about how you're feeling, be able to integrate what it is that you that you took from all of this, what it is that you learned from all of this, you know, and really move forward. And that is what that two of cups of in that spiritual practice, really connecting um, with your energy. Perhaps you need to also get near water if you can, maybe take some spiritual baths, do some spiritual cleansing, um, maybe do a white bath, you know. With that, you want to shower first because you don't want to actually bathe in the bath that you're soaking in. But um, possibly, or perhaps you may even need to just connect with someone who can hold space for you, who can listen. But in this, this Two of Cups is also speaking to me about forgiveness. Um, perhaps there's something that needs to be forgiven here, whether that's yourself or someone else so that you can show up a little bit more authentically because you have the sun card in this conscious area. So it's like you are wanting to um, show up in that way or you are, but subconsciously you're still kind of healing for something. So you're not fully um, expressing your light, I should say, especially with uh, the Virgo, with the hermit card coming up in the well-being. It's like you are in this space of... Um, protecting your heart because you are feeling like that's going to keep you safe and going to keep you um, stable in a sense. But it, it feels like that is actually giving you the opposite effect than what it is that you actually desire to be happening here. You're, I'm not saying that this is affecting your well-being in a negative way, but it is in some sense affecting your mental state which can then lead to something physical. So let's see, what's your shadow energy saying? Oh, wow, you have the devil energy card here for your shadow. So it's, um, the devil is basically, um, what is it here, spirit? So this is connected to this hermit card, really a need to recognize the light within the darkness. And this is also about subconscious patterns that are continuing to rise up and create narratives that are not necessarily true um, and have you interacting in life in a way that is um, shady, in a sense, you know, not really being uh, honest and truthful within um your intentions within your um, your motives, right? And really needing to uh, realign that energy in a way that is gonna allow you to recognize what is really there um, in the darkness. What are you learning here? Where did, why is this a continuous pattern for you? Why do you continue um, what are the circumstances that trigger you to get drawn down into subconscious patterns um, that continue to manifest a less than desirable results in your life, right? Because it's, it's stopping you from being able to attain the actual success. Uh, perhaps this has something to do with your reputation or the idea that you have that your reputation is that might not necessarily be true, especially with is this five of swords coming out um, in the emotion area because <clears throat> this strongly feels like it has to do with a relationship that was in your life. Um, maybe some type of hurt. Maybe it was just uh, you feeling hurt and lonely on your own. It didn't have to necessarily be with anyone else. Could have just been your own personal relationship and just your disconnect has um, you consistently playing out so these patterns, these thoughts, these um, ill con 
ill-constructed ideas that aren't necessarily the truth. So let's see where, how it is that you were receiving, where it is that your receptivity lies. So your receptivity here is the magician. So this is basically saying that for you to receive, you need to bring the, the, the power of spirit down into the material world. It is about utilizing what it is that you already have in order to um, make it work, in order to um, turn on your magnet, basically you know, really be able to draw in what it is that is worthy of you, um, you know, it, and if you are not feeling like you are able to manifest what it is that you want in your life, this has a lot to do with your thought process, you know, a big need to um, shift the way in which that you've been going about thinking about anything because it's blocking you from being able to receive. Now, that doesn't mean that you're not receiving anything. What it does mean is that what you're receiving is probably not what you want, but it has to do about the way that you are going about, um, again, tapping into your wholeness because the magician is the alchemist who uses uh, the elements of the earth to connect with spirit and bring something to life. It's also about utilizing what it is that you have within you. It's also a very innocent and pure space. So if you are not coming from a space of innocence, if you're not coming from a space of pure purity, that's gonna show and you're not gonna receive what it is that you're trying to attain, right? Because you are instead operating in your shadow, like you have something to hide, you know, like you, um, are concerned about how people will perceive you is almost like you were trying to hide who and what it is that you really are, how it is that you really feel, right? Because that's most of the time why we are conflicted in our emotions. We don't want nobody to know how we really feel, you know, but <clears throat> you first have to feel safe enough in yourself to feel what you're feeling before you can feel safe around another person to feel what you're feeling, you know? I hope that makes sense. So your rhythm, where you are in your cycle, you have here the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is with it coming up in um, your rhythm. You may be coming out of, uh, coming off of your cycle or probably on it and moving into your waxing phase. So um with the Queen of Cups coming up here, it feels like you need to give a little bit more love, that you need to um, give a little bit more love to yourself. You need to fill your cup up. Um, if you have been on your cycle, you need to take more time to yourself during that time so that you can fill your cup up. You may also need to be more active in your sincerity, be more active in your... Um, in your empathy, more active in your uh, ability to connect with another from a very genuine space, right? And let's see what moon card came up with this to further see. Uh, so you got the full moon here. So it's, but it's definitely, yeah, you definitely need to express yourself a little bit more, but it's first about really expressing what it is that you fill yourself up with. Express, uh, fill yourself up first so that you can give to another so that you can reap and harvest what it is that you have been um putting in to your life putting in to um your work putting into your connections with other people as well because the queen of cups is she's all about connecting with others and you know it's just a very feminine energy you may need to also tap in in expressing more of your feminine energy um, maybe be, maybe coming from less of an egoic place. It feels like the full moon that we just had was in Leo, All right? And then you have the sun card here. So this is really all, this is speaking to me a lot about your self-expression, how you go about communicating yourself, how you go about communicating with other people. Are you being gentle within your own personal communication? <clears throat> Are you being kind to others in your communication? Are you being honest and truthful 
in your communication? Are you being um, integral as well? Let's see what is here for the advice aspect. So for the advice we have in Rama, where are you being called? Excuse me, to journey to. So this is speaking even more so about um <clears throat> about seeing the you know tapping into that foresight tapping into that intuition so that you can recognize if you haven't already where it is that you're going if you already know what it is that you need to do where it is that you need to go it's definitely important that you um follow that inkling so that you can because it's guiding you. It's your guiding light. You have this hermit card here in well-being. So if you've been neglecting the light that's been coming on out of fear, out of staying in your shadow, right? It's definitely important that you acknowledge that light so that you can move forward and be able to connect on the level that you would like to <coughs> and move beyond any old emotions that are living within you. Now with this full moon coming up, it could also be speaking about releasing something. Um, if you have been being immature in your approach with your emotions, um, that's definitely something that, will, that you'll need to take a step back from in order to get to where it is that you're going. You know, it's like basically a need to listen to the call. So let's see what else is here. So further advice, you got the water nymph here. She's a seven. So this is seven. This is moon energy to cancer energy. Um, <clears throat> seven, it represents the chariot card. So it's about being in your will, activating your will. Um, and But doing it from a heart space because only when you are aligned with your heart will your will actually support you in going forward it will give you that force you know to catapult you into the future really and it'll go be forceful but the water nymph here she says the first step to wisdom is understanding <clears throat> so again it's something that you need to get clear on in regards to your thought patterns um Perhaps you thought you were going forward in a certain way and it, it's not turning out like that. And she's about insight. So again, needing to connect to that intuition. She says, someone loves your charm, but may also secretly love the charms of others too. Like the usually, like the usually benevolent water nymph, you can be endangered by someone putting on a deceptive show. The perpetrator may be dragged down to his or her death. Once you can see clearly once you can clearly see the situation for what it is, the sun will set on someone who wants to cling to your light before you, a bright new day will dawn. You possess the power to end something or gain control. You will not lose something that is being challenged and will succeed by holding fast to your original plans. A journey will be proposed to you and your dearest wishes will come within sight of fulfillment. So is it really a need for you to pay attention to where it is you're putting your energy, who it is that you're giving it to, how it is that you're giving it to them, um, but also how it is that you're investing your energy into your own self, into your own life to make sure that you are taking the right steps um, for yourself, you know, because these, these cards are both speaking about your journey. So let's see what the self-care cards have for you. It has you have perseverance so it's a need for you to continue to move forward and basically be steadfast on what it is that you need to do here you know don't don't think don't allow um what seems like it's not working out or not going to work out to deter you um from what is possible from where you're going right so if there are obstacles, if there, if things seem limited for you, blockages, know that sometimes um, these are the lessons that we just have to learn so that we can actually 
uh, be in the space it is or be who it is that we need to be, connect to the person that we are so that um, we can really be able to show up effectively. All right, so persevere. And you also have curiosity. So you need to be open to being curious in whether this is showing up in new ways or meeting new people. All right, curiosity says meeting new people. I remember what a treasure trove of opinions, interests, and stories they are. But these are these treasures will only be unlocked if I embrace my curiosity. So I'll be curious and you be interesting, deal. So, you know, definitely need to go into things or connecting with people as if you, you know, even if you know them, like you don't know them, you know, you never know how someone may show up and, and surprise you, you know, or you just don't know what uh, response you may get from a person or a situation um, until you actually be curious by trying something different, you know, so definitely allow your innocence to support you in continuing to move forward in the way in which you need to move forward for yourself. And the last card that you have here is Aquarius, the star community in Uranus. So the sun is a so perhaps this has something to do with your relationships, um, friendship groups that you are part of, um, people that you connect with. Um, maybe this has something to do with your future or some shifts that need to be made, especially when it comes to how it is that <coughs> you align to your values, how it is that you align to your sense of self, how it is that you align to um, taking care of yourself <coughs> as well but also seeing the truth in um, how it is that you present yourself to others as well versus um, how it is that you think you're actually showing up because those things are different. So this is also about your bliss and your fulfillment in life and in moving forward in a very light way. It's time, you know, it's really time for you to let something dense and heavy go all right, you got this devil in the shadow energy. Devil is very heavy when it is not going after its goals and attaining its material success that it wants because it's pessimistic, <coughs> is dishonest, it's treacherous in a sense, it's, um, it's deceptive, it's just dark in general. You know, it's, um, it's repetitive and uh, cyclical as well. It, it just keeps the fire burning in a way that um, it's not transmuting the things that allows the phoenix to rise. So definitely all as well, take some time to um, see the truth in all matters, right? What's really here? Are you not being yourself simply? That may be something that needs to happen so that, um, right? Because we first have to accept ourselves so that we can genuinely accept other people as well, as, particularly those close to us. I'm not saying you got to accept yourself so that you can accept people who do one wrong or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. So this is also because this is the queen of scarabs and the scarab basically speak of this, the scares basically speak of creating your life, um, really bringing things to fruition. And it's about destiny as well, you know, making the choices that need to be made in order for you to attain the future it is that you desire. Um, this card also, <coughs> excuse me, speaks of ma'at. So one, this is about balance, but this is also about law. So do you have your own law that you abide by? And are you comfortable with that? Um, can you be willing to be comfortable with that? Can you be willing to uh, say this is mine and, and align with that, you know? Perhaps um, you may be connecting with some community or need to connect with community to support you in all of this energy here. And that will help you forward in your future goals, your future aims.
you know, people that you can connect with, but also be independent with at the same time, um, who resonate with truth, with honesty, who are loyal, you know, and who you can trust in a sense. And that is, speaks a lot with this curiosity card in connecting with people. Um, it really feels more like you need to connect with people in a new way from a new space. But also, um, it could be also connecting with uh, new people. Now, with you having had the moon come out in the dice, this is telling me that all of these things come from or it stems from uh, what you have picked up through your family line, through the women in your family, what you have learned through them, right? And um, how you have kind of uh, uh, taken that and made it your own, but it's still very fixed in that energy. So it's a need to transmute and transform uh, those aspects of yourself in a way that is going to allow you to uh, rebirth yourself in a sense, in, okay, so yes, I was saying with the moon energy, um, I need to kind of, I need to reflect so that what is there, what is hidden from your sight can be illuminated for you, that you can, so that you can move forward through those shadows, because the moon also speaks of shadow energy as well, um, because we did speak about beliefs as well. Um, perhaps you have been deceiving yourself in a way that is uh, not allowing you to see the truth of a matter, you know, and um, perhaps coming off to others as deceptive as well. Uh, <clears throat> when... Uh, all right, and it's almost as if you, instead of just being yourself, um, you're trying on a role to see if that works and it's not giving you what it is that you are hoping for, you know, that you are not, uh, your return is not as great as you thought it would be. So, Pal One, I am going to leave it there. Um, give me a moment. Let me sit here for a second before I wrap it up. So earlier also, I was speaking about boundaries. Now, it does not feel like that you have a problem with boundaries. It feels like that perhaps that the boundaries have to do with how you've kind of bound yourself in, especially when it comes to any particular um, beliefs. Uh, because it's almost as if the beliefs are not necessarily true. These are uh, of your own doing, you know. So really just a need to move through that energy. And some of you are already moving through that energy, working through that devil energy, and really focusing on um, what is needed to be done to connect to your heart in a new way, you know. So, okay. Power one. I hope that this was helpful. I'm going to leave it here for you. Um, if so, let me know in the comments. I would love to read your comments, um, you know, to see what's happening, what's going on. You can even DM me if you don't want to let everybody know what's going on with you. That is fine too. So I hope you all have a great day, morning, evening, whenever you are viewing this, and I will see you soon. Okay, bye. Hi, group two. So you chose the zodiac signs. So I'm going to just roll the dice, see what zodiac signs are, the energy that is here with you. So you received Aquarius. So pal two, you may be very focused your focus may be lying uh, with the energy. You're, you may be very, feeling very present at this time, you know, and really contemplating on how you're going to go about continuing forward with where it is that you are right now. You may be really focused on your long-term goals, you know, and what it is that you desire to have within your life, within your world, 
uh, possibly also what is how the eyes that you want to see the world through, you know, and wondering how it is that you can make your your personal life that way, you know, and taking it feels like you may need to slow down a little bit. <clears throat> Like you are maybe going a little bit too fast in a way that has you missing things um, that are right in front of your face as you are in this present moment, trying to get to your end game, your end goal. But Aquarius is the long game. It takes it, although um, it wants to go there fast, uh, it's almost as if Aquarius' lesson is to learn that it has to take the step by step because. Um, Aquarius's original ruler is Saturn and Saturn wants the work done whereas Uranus is you know pretty flighty it's electric it is um, very sporadic in its nature and is willing to um, push whatever is in its way basically so there may be some unexpected things also happening for you at this time some some things that are been feeling very shocking, like unbelievable, not shocking in the sense that it's like uh, throwing you off your your game or anything like that, but just like, wow, okay, I can't believe I didn't realize that. I can't believe this is happening like this, you know, and there may be, you may be focused on your groups, your friendships, the people who you connect with, the people who you like and choose that you would like to be around. Um, in your life while you go about moving toward your long-term goals, you know, and it just, you may be connecting with them or attempting to connect with them in some sense, in some way, but there are a lot of planets in Aquarius right now. So you are in this space of cultivating who it is that you really um, need to be through working um, through any old energies, any stale energy that um, is being triggered right now through these influences, right? Because when we have a lot of influences in one place, this is basically, um, they either come in give offerings or they trigger us. And the triggers are spaces that we still need to do the work in and see where it is that we are, um, have misappropriated ourselves in a sense. And now, <clears throat> You may also be very focused on your successes within your life, within your world, you know, and moving through any type of confusion that is stopping you from being able to um, really see yourself in a higher light, see your circumstances in a higher light. And it, it's feeling what I'm hearing is a need to get clear on something. I'm not sure what that is for you. But let's pull these cards and see what's going on, what spirit has for you today. All right. So the first card you have is the subconscious card. You have the Page of Pentacles here. And the Page of Pentacles basically speaks about you being um, in this uh, inexperienced aspect or area in your life, especially when it comes to the work it is that you're doing. Um, the efforts it is that you have placed in your life, but also the wisdom it is that you hold and that you have is like brand new, right? And this is what is supporting you in your subconscious mind and pushing you forward and drawing the things into your world, right? So perhaps you may be feeling like um, the things that are coming to you are not as grand, I should say or as uh, experienced or as advanced as you may be seeing yourself to be, because uh, subconsciously you're only in this page stage. So you're going to have to take the time to get to where it is that you wanna be by way of recognizing the steps it is that you're gonna have to take to get there. You're going to have to do this in a very practical way you know, really tap into the wisdom it is that you have gained over the time, over the journey, you know, and uh, utilize that in a more higher 
active stance, right? But you first have to also recognize that you are still just simply learning or perhaps that your subconscious energy is in a immature space in not allowing you to attain and manifest and create and build what it is that you want um, based on the lack of experience that is there. So consciously, you have the Seven of Cups. Okay. So with this Seven of Cups being in your um, conscious mind, so you're really focused on the things that you love you know, what it is that you desire in your life, where it is that you are headed, right? This page of cups, this page of pentacles is looking at this seven of cups. So it's almost as if you need to learn a little bit more, or perhaps you just need to keep going so that you can get the experience to gain the understanding it is to bring these ideas into fruition so that you can bring these desires into the real world, into reality in the way which you want, right? And it's about seeing these things from a higher perspective and but not so high that you are lost in the clouds. So it's a need to get grounded. Um, it's like your subconscious is trying to get you grounded, but your conscious mind is not focused on being grounded. It's focused on the ideas, on the possibilities, which is not a bad thing. It's just if you are constantly focused on the possibility, you will never be present enough to put the work in. All right, so I said earlier, you may be being very present. Perhaps you may be having a difficult time being present, right? Because you are feeling so inspired, um, but not feeling like that you have all that you need in order to um, take these ideas and make them real. So let's see what's in the body quadrant. So material, you have some new things coming in, some new possessions, some new opportunities, um, maybe some new opportunities to gain some new possessions. You may um, have a, gotten a new job, a new source of income may have come in for you, you know, from a seed that you have planted some time ago and it's now manifesting for you, you know, and that may be what is um, inspiring you to want to bring these ideas into fruition, right? But you have to just continue to keep going and don't get yourself lost in the clouds. Let's see where your well-being is. Hmm. So well-being, you have the eight of swords. So with well-being being in your eight of swords aspect, if you are having any um, health issues, um, it, it has to do about your beliefs, your knowing, right? So this is, again, the page of Pentacles. So you feel like you don't know enough. So you're feeling like you are a victim, right? That um, not necessarily, woe is me, like, oh my, but more so like, oh my goodness, I can't do this. And it has you in this frantic space in a sense, but that's simply because you're not seeing things clearly. Now, on the other side, you may be freeing yourself in letting go of the past and um, moving beyond this victim state of nature within yourself that is allowing you to truly expand in a way that is going to continue to push you forward on your journey, regardless of where, how this is manifesting for you. This is definitely a sign that you are at a space where you are being revealed uh, where it is that you um, are either headed or what is the blocking you and keeping you stagnant from that. You will also see the connection in your health become better when you begin to release and let go and free yourself from any um, debilitating ideas that do not serve you, that don't belong to you, that kind of need to be revamped and elevated. So embodiment, you have the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> so with the Ten of Cups here in the embodiment, um, so this can go many ways. So you are either feeling very harmonious within your connections, feeling really good, very lighthearted, 
um, very loved and very loving. On the other hand, you may be feeling very disconnected from your relationships. You can have be having tension within your relationships, within yourself when it comes to your relationships. Um, you know, and especially with this Eight of Swords coming up here in the well-being section uh, area, it's, it's feeling like there may be some, um, it just seems like a lot of confusion going on, really. Perhaps you need to clear out, you definitely need to clear out some old things, um, kind of put the, the, the dreams, not necessarily on hold if you are in a disconnected state when it comes to how you're feeling, especially in regards to feeling within your body, right? And a need to really recognize uh, what is real and what is not, right? So a need to really take the blindfold off. But if you are feeling um, very joyful, very jovial, you know, very connected, that is a beautiful thing, and uh, some of you are there, you know, some of you are really still trekking forward, moving forward, freeing yourself, really recognizing the opportunities that are here, but I'm, I'm feeling very strong energy with just the layout that there is a lot of confusion going on here within your mind and your direction, of where it is that you're going and which avenue it is that you want to take in going there. You know, because in reality, it doesn't matter what it is that you choose, because you're always going to get to where you're going. It's a matter of, do you love it? Are you enjoying it? Is it, is it, is this what it is that you actually want to be doing? And if so, it's like, okay, take it seriously in a way that is going to support you in staying consistent, staying grounded, staying methodical in a sense. Let's see where your spiritual energy is. Okay, so spiritually, you have the star here. So you seem to be very connected to um, your inner world, your inner spirit, your star energy, you know, but perhaps you are not realizing that you are already there. That's what it feels like, right? Because the page is like, oh, I don't know enough, but the page he still has enough. He still always has what he needs. So a need to really connect to your free spirited nature. Perhaps um, you are in a free spirited nature, but you are feeling that you can't really be there confidently. You're not finding enjoyment of it. Maybe you are too worried about another person's opinion. Right, because with seven of cups, that also speaks of other people. Um, it has to do with relationships and things like that as well. So, and so does the star card. This is Aquarius energy. Um, so perhaps you need to connect with friends, people who are going to help you see the truth. Let me see what else is here. What spirit practice is supporting you? Yeah. <laughs> so the spiritual practice you got here is the Queen of Swords. So it's definitely a need to focus on what is real, what is true, what is... Um, you need to work on your understanding of things. You know, seeing the whole picture for what it is and not what it is you're making it to be. What you It's almost like you're in a state of make-believe and not really uh, seeing things clearly. You're not letting uh, the blade cut through the fog, right? And um, this may be having you feeling disconnected from your, uh, from your soul self, from being able to go forward in the future, but your spirit, your soul self is already in the future. It's waiting on you to recognize that you just need to begin take the, taking the steps to get there. And in that, that means you need to align and connect to the truth. 
So it feels like you really need to um, get into some breathing, right? You need to uh, really ground yourself, get into some meditation, get into a space of stillness, of quiet. You need to still your mind so that you can begin to see things clearly. Uh, really get grounded. Perhaps you need a routine in your life, um, a consistent spiritual practice, um, something that is some something that is sustainable for you, something that is going to uh, feel aligned to who it is that you are, you know, not taking on what someone else says you should be doing, right? Perhaps they have some good pointers, but you need to uh, tweak it for it to resonate with you, your personal self, right? So that it can be aligned with what is real for you and doesn't have you in a state of cognitive dissonance because you seem a little confused a little bit. Actually, a lot. But you also, it also feels like even through your confusion, you're still having um, great connection in your relationships. You know, so I really want to encourage you to um, connect with these people to get your mind off of things so that you can see clearly the signs of what's being shown to you. Uh, let, me, let me keep going. So emotion, spirit. Okay, so emotions, you have the four of pinnacles. So you seem to be feeling insecure about um, yourself, about your self-expression, about the way you are or are not attaining your success. You're concerned about how other people are seeing you. You have yourself really bound here. Um, and, and having a difficult time tapping into your sovereignty. Like you really need to connect with the fact that uh, you can do it if you want to. You don't need somebody else to tell you it's okay. You don't need anyone else to validate you. You need to validate yourself. Now, some of you I'm getting, some of you are feeling very emotionally secure, you know, feeling very emotionally confident, feeling very emotionally successful as well and grounded. But um, some of you are not. And there is a real need here um, to balance yourself out. It, it really feels like you um, maybe need to connect with a facilitator, connect with a mentor. Uh, need to connect with someone who knows what you, knows the things that you need that will support you, that can give you this information, give you this, offer you this wisdom, right? It's not, it's less about information and more about wisdom because uh, you're not even recognizing and seeing the wisdom it is that you have within your own self. Let's see where your shadow energy is. Wow. So the shadow energy you have here is the five of pentacles. So again, this is about that, that insecurity. Um, you're, it's this sense of self-worth that is lacking here. Um, and not really supporting you and being able to move forward in a way that is okay so your shadow energy is here in this five of pentacles so uh, definitely this has to do with uh, your mental state and how you have been going about thinking about yourself right um these thoughts that you have grown into a perception of yourself and um, how it is that you see your self-worth, your self-value and how you have been going about um, attempting to attain what it is that you want, right? So you want these new opportunities, but 
you are or have have these new opportunities for you, but you are not seeing yourself as valuable as, as, or as worthy of them, right? So perhaps you have been um, rejecting them out of feeling like you don't know enough, don't have enough, um, that uh, you're just not ready to be seen in a sense. So let's see how this is affecting your receptivity or your ability to receive. So your ability to receive is activated and ignited through you recognizing the truth of yourself, seeing the truth in you, right? And understanding more about yourself and who it is that you are and what it is that you are capable of. Um, how it is that you, what the capabilities that you have to move forward and um, be on your journey, right? And this is also about just your understanding in general. So um, definitely a need to uh, see that self-talk, how it is that you are, what it is that you're believing about yourself, um, what it is that you think you know and what you think is true, right? Because it's showing up here that is how you're feeling and all of these things are not really aligning to what is actually real, right? So, you know, we always see ourselves in different ways than other people see us. So that's why I say you need to connect with these friends so that they can, um, tell you how wonderful you are, you know, what have helped you see what you're capable of, what it is that you have so that you can see the truth in you because it's blocking you from being able to um, be a magnet to what you are wanting in your life, where it is that you are wanting to go in your life. Like you need to be a little bit more open um, to learning new things. perhaps to learning about um, learning things around surrounding the steps that needs to be taken in order to succeed and get to your future goals. So let's see your rhythm. You have the judgment card. So this is where you are in your cycle. So with the judgment card coming up, this is... Um, so you're in, that would be considered your waning phase. So you are feeling very reflective, very internal. Um, I need to see where it is that you are being called to, where you are being guided to, but you are needing to take some time to get out of those, those judgy thoughts if you are in your waning phase. Let me see what moon card is here. Yeah, what is this? I think this is the waning crescent. Yeah, <laughs> so there is some healing that needs to be done here. So you are definitely in this waning phase, maybe just being very critical of yourself. All these sword cards here um, may even be feeling very critical of other people in a sense, but um, definitely a need to, because it's like this area that you are embodying it's not how you are actually feeling, right? And that's really, that's possible. You can embody something. You can be in the mode of something and not actually be feeling that to be the truth on some subconscious level, unconscious level, you know? So it's definitely time to rest and surrender to what it is that you are being called to, whether that is just taking some time of stillness, some time in meditation, um, so that you can really see the truth of the matter, so that you can bring all parts of yourself back together. It's time for you to really um, get in the space of remembering and re integrating your wholeness of self, you know, uh, and releasing the things that put you in a state of judgment, whether that is of yourself or of others. You know, it's really a need to transform and um, transmute these energies. You may be about to have your cycle at this 
moon or maybe you maybe having your cycle soon like in the next couple of days um but definitely taking utilizing this waning time to um take some time away from others you know and focus on yourself uh focus on your work focus focus on your mental health as well tell you that you can get still let's see what advice you have here yeah wow so you have the priestess here and the priestess speaks about how are you being called to lead and with this judgment card coming up here in your rhythm it's really time for you to um answer the call recognize where it is that your leadership role is guiding you whether that's in your just your immediate life and your family or whatever it is that you're doing in your work, in the world, with your family, with your children. However that's showing up for you, it's time for you to step in and access the wisdom it is that you already have so that you can use it to continue to gain experience so that you can gain more wisdom. You know, it's all a process. What else is here, Spirit? The Mermaid. So definitely a need to get into your authority, your sense of knowing what is it that you like to do and what is it that you're good at what do you do well it's time for you that is where you may be being called to leave you know and stepping up because you have what you need to get there it's a matter of recognizing it so that you can utilize it right it says the longings of your heart can become actual realities right because if it's living within us if we came here with it that is uh, because it's meant for us to carry it out by some means, you know, and it's just a matter for you to recognize how you're doing it. The merman, he speaks of elation. He is a beneficial, amiable, jolly creature, predicts fun and friendship for you. Your social circle is expanding, bringing big opportunities. When roused to anger, the merman raises thorns. So be assured a blow of fate has a sacred blessing. Yeah, has a sacred blessing about it. A love relationship will su survive scrutiny, bringing a happier phase that is harmonious and beneficial to you both. You may meet someone significant while investigating new creative ideas in your career or leisure interests. You may become close friends with someone who lives near and choose to see less of someone who lives at a distance or in a foreign land. Something pleasing is about to lift your spirits and make you feel lighthearted. So again, that need to connect with uh, with people so that they can help you um, see uh, see the possibilities it is that you have available to you so that you can kind of step up and begin to do what it is that is yours to do so that you can become begin to make your um, your desires your dreams your longings a reality Okay, let's see. What is your self-care? So you need to have patience. You know, take time to just be okay with things moving as they are. That's another thing. Things may be moving a lot slower than you would like them to. And so it's important for you to definitely um, be patient. Let things take its course. You know, it's a process in everything. We have to take things to go step by step with this Aquarius energy coming up again. That's all I was saying. You may need to slow down. You may be trying to go too fast. You know, I really need to have patience. It says, congratulations. You've been granted more patience. You may start using it right away or much, much later. Waiting a long time is the sort of option now afforded to you by greater patience. Can you believe it? Look at this. You're still reading and you haven't started getting annoyed yet. Imagine how this patience will transform your life. Imagine how easy it will be to go to the post office. So yes, take some time to um, just relax, you know, because your mind is kind of all over the place in a sense. It, it's like a, like a state of confusion and um, you're needing to get still so that you can be able to see what is true here was actually um, available to you and the second card that you have is honesty so definitely be honest about yourself honest to yourself about what it is that you desire what you want be honest with, 
be honest about how you feel, right? Because this is a card about love and relationships. So it says, this heralds a wonderful time of rooting yourself in complete and total honesty. It might seem scary to tell the truth all the time with everyone about everything, but when you practice radical honesty, you can stop hiding and start relaxing, right? The best part is honesty from you inspires honesty from others. What results in a root and toot and trust parade and everyone's invited, except the bagpipe players, but you know they'll show up anyway. Yeah, so definitely be honest about what it is that you need, um, the support that you need, you know, what it is that you do not know, what you are unsure of, you know, even be honest about your fears. If you are feeling fearful, that is usually what keeps us in that state of anxiousness of trying to go too fast or thinking we're going to miss out or lose out or anything like that. <clears throat> so here you have the full moon, this is the five of feathers. And the full moon is basically speaking about blossoming. You know, it's also speaking about harvesting. You know, you're really focused. That energy is much of a focus for you at this time. So it's a really a need to, um, to when it is that you have the energy to put into something, put it into that, right? Because that's going to allow you and assist you in, um, and connecting to your, uh, in connecting to your ability to harvest, your ability to um, realize as well what it is that needs to be done to keep you moving forward. Express your gratitude and recognize that some things take time. Let go and release what hasn't worked or needs to wait. Plant produces its flowering seeds for the future recreation of self. So it also feels like you need to be a little bit more confident in who it is that you are, um, you know, and really recognize your value within that and um, really give thanks for the blessings that you have because it's this energy here that will make or break you, you know, and really... Uh, being in the space of that space of peace, that space of solace is very important to support you in moving forward here because it's going to allow you to have the patience that you need um, to slow down, be honest about your, where it is that you're going, be truthful. It's a lot of truth energy here. Um, you really need to be stand in your truth and acknowledge where you haven't so that you can walk away from that. Right, so that you can uh, be supported in the way it is that you need to uh, grow, basically. So, <clears throat> how to, I'm going to leave it there. I hope that this was helpful for you. Uh, if so, if you would like to share, you can let me know in the comments. Um, or you can send me a message, an email, all of that is below. You can send me a message on Instagram or in my DMs. And I am here to read your comments. I hope that this finds you well. And I hope that you have a good evening or a good day, good morning, whenever it is you are being able to watch this. Okay, I will see you guys later. Hi. Hi, Pile 3. Welcome to your Divine Feminine Pick Apart reading. You chose either the purple, number three, or the houses. So I'm going to roll this dice and we are going to go ahead and get started on your reading. Let's see what energy is present for Pile 3. Um, okay, pal three. So you have the 12th house. So you may be very focused on your soul self, on your spiritual journey, on um, where it is that you, so, okay, let's backtrack. The 12th house is um, who it is that you were born as into this world. It's also this very unchangeable aspect and part of yourself that, um, that will always be there, but that sometimes gets uh, conditioned 
through just going through life, you know, and we create these prisons within ourselves that stop us from being able to continue to express this energy. I hope that you can see that. Okay. So um you may be very focused on your spiritual uh path, your spiritual walk, your spirituality. Um, you but you may also be seeing things a little bit unclearly. You may be uh tapped in or trapped in some sort of illusion that's making you believe that things are one way when they are actually another. Uh, this is also, uh, you may need to take note of any hidden enemies that you have within your life. Uh, granted, they're hidden, so you may not be able to recognize these people at this time, but maybe the, bringing this to your awareness may help you see um, or start showing you signs of this reality. Now, this can also speak to you feeling, you may also be focused on collective energies, like where it is that the world is at this time and um, how it is that that is going to carry us into the future, whether or not that's going to support us going there. You know, um, you may also be focused on wish fulfillment and leaving anything old behind that has been keeping you trapped in the prisons that um that that you have the key to open you know or maybe you work in um uh for the health department you maybe you work in mental health um or maybe have something going on in regards to jail the law in some aspects um maybe needing to deal with that that may be something that's being needed to be handled at this time. Um, you could be also finding a very new way, new perspective, a very higher um, sense of sight. Your like your clairvoyance, your um, psychic abilities may be getting activated at this time you may be really tapping into that and connecting with that energy within yourself um really aligning uh to that that sacred hidden wisdom within yourself uh that exists there the 12th house is also the house of the womb um for me it is anyway so uh you may be focused on your womb area you know you may also be uh needing to return back to your womb and do some womb healing now okay let's see what these cards have for you so the first card you have here is your subconscious card so you have justice and justice speaks about <clears throat> cause and effect it's also about balance, having balance within your life, within your world, and seeing things with a clear set of eyes, um, but also focus on the truth in the matter. Now, this, perhaps you have something going on with the law right now with this 12th house and this justice card here, um, and that may be really heavy on your mind. That may be affecting you in a way um, that is... Um, manifesting things within your life that is not um, supporting you. On the other hand, some of you may just be recognizing um, how it is that your thought patterns have been affecting what is going on in your world and getting a little bit clearer on that, uh, attaining a little bit more insight and clarity on these things, um, you know, really bringing your mind down to your heart space so that they can be aligned and that you can um, be really connected in wholeness to yourself, all right, when it comes to uh, how it is that you go about making decisions. Now, this may also have to do with a relationship that may be uh, lingering 
in the in the foreground and there may be some things going on with that maybe maybe a divorce is happening here um and it, that is just something that has subconsciously implanted itself as important in your mind you know but is definitely offering you regardless whether it has to do something with the justice realm or this is just something in regards to you recognizing how you've been going about things and how they have been manifesting it's allowing you to walk through a new door and so consciously you have the ace of cups so you have some new emotions here you know really focus on following your intuition um perhaps getting so much out of your head space and getting into your heart again, you know, really aligning to um, get into your emotional state, you know, how it is that you truly feel, what, who is it that you truly are, and um, what is your intuition speaking to you through that, you know, and really maybe you're focused on filling up your cup as well. You may have some new relationship opportunities coming to you that you may be focused on at this time. Um, and really connecting with people who resonate with you and in your mind, but also in your heart space as well. Um, you may also be focused on going with the flow as well not so much trying to figure things out but instead trusting the process trusting um that if you follow your heart follow your intuition that is going to support you in moving forward in the way in which you desire basically that cause and effect energy um <clears throat> like what it is that you decide to think about what it is that you you just choose in general and how that's going to lead you forward so in the body room, in the material, you have the two of wands. And so the two of wands here, again, it's a, a, a choice that's being made. Um, uh, perhaps when it, when, it, when it comes down to your possessions, to your material gains, how you go about gaining material things, you may um, be making some plans, um, especially in regards to movement of your materials, of your finances, of your you know, your possessions, um, and really something is shifting here, <laughs> you know, and, and reality may be changing for you at this time as well, and you are just in this space of needing to make plans to move forward in a different direction than you have been going in. Um, you have a decision to make again, you know, you have options, so let's see where your well-being has here so you have the king of cups here so you may be feeling very emotional emotionally sound you know feeling very you may be seen as very reliable by those around you you know and with the king of cups coming up in well-being you may um be feeling very <coughs> just healthy in a sense but you may also be experiencing something in regards to your water within your body maybe some water weight um excuse me maybe it's your emotions in general you know and a need to if you have if you aren't operating from a very mature space it's time to do so um so that doesn't take you down the road of affecting you negatively in your health um, you know, and really, really so you can also see things clearly as well. Um, you may be feeling very good within your body, honestly. It doesn't feel, I'm not feeling anything negative, but there may be someone who's watching this that may be, and if so, this is based off of the way in which it is that you've been going about aligning to your emotional state how you've been connecting to your emotional state. And um, uh, it's a need to get really grounded and be a little bit more um, empathetic, a little bit more sympathetic to whether it is yourself or others. But majority of you are having a, a, a great 
um, health well-being respond. So embodiment, you have temperance. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you're a Sagittarius. Um, but you are really focused on balance. It's a lot of balancing energy here. A lot of aligning your heart with your mind, getting in a, accordance with what it is that you want within your life and how it is that you need the thoughts and beliefs it is that you need to hold in order to make that happen, make that real, right? And move forward in um, on your journey in the way that you desire, really tapping into this space of sovereignty um, and freedom that allows you to uh, really be yourself, you know, really allow uh, the truth of the matter to be present so that um, all things can work in your favor, so life can expand for you, so um, that you can enjoy life, that that's where you are right now, you know, that is where you're holding space for yourself, so overall, you're spiritual energy here you have the six of pentacles and so with the six of pentacles and your spiritual energy perhaps you um are in this space of giving and receiving again balance this is libra energy right and um is this very uh venusian energy so maybe you are feeling very open to giving and open to receiving you know, and perhaps you were get, getting some help from another person, or maybe you're offering some help to another person. Uh, perhaps you are getting help from women in your life surrounding you in regards to um, your self-worth, your self-values, you know, your um, what it is that you want out of life, what it is that you want your life to look like and feel like, and how that is supporting you moving forward. Um, but also moving through any illusions, right? You are really clearing the clouds, clearing the cut clutter in a way that is allowing you to um, be able to be stable um, and utilize what it is that you have within you from the experiences that you have uh, had up until this point. And that is really um allowing you to be generous but also perhaps you may be feeling abundant spiritually now some of you may be feeling um like you don't have in a sense and through that a need to connect to spirit perhaps you need to connect to your ancestors um so they they can help you see just how much it is that you actually have, All right? So let's see if spirit practice have the three of wands. So with the three of wands, this speaks a lot of um, needing to practice patience. But this is also a need to um, get comfortable with your confidence. You know, who it is that you are as an individual, what it is that, what sites do you have your eyes set on? You know, it's time to begin doing the work to bring the, that in because the three of wands speaks of your ships coming in. Um, so, but if you haven't been doing anything for that to happen, um, then it's gonna be a delay. But if you have been doing things for this to happen, you need to be practicing patience at this time because it, things have to accumulate before they can actually, the puzzle pieces can come together to manifest in the way that they work together. I hope that makes sense. So really a need to be confident, focus on your happiness, focus on your present joy, on your fulfillment in life with where it is that you are right now, what it is that you have. Um, also be assertive in what it is that you are doing. Don't wait on a thing. Um, and when I say don't wait on a thing, after I told you to practice patience, what I mean is don't wait to do something, to put action into something. 
but be patient on receiving the return. So let's see, emotionally. Emotionally, you have the Queen of Wands energy here. So you are feeling capable. Like you can do this. Whatever it is that you're doing, <laughs> you um, feel like that you have the understanding to do it. You feel like that you have the power to do it. You feel like that you have the connection to spirit, the support from spirit to do it as well. You um, have this inner light that is facilitating uh, your path. And if you have not been following it, now is the time to do so. <clears throat> now, granted, you could be uh, feeling um, a lack of confidence, a lack of unsurety. <clears throat> Um, you could also be feeling like you're not being appreciated in a sense. You could be feeling um, burnt out as well, especially if you haven't been patient with what is coming to you, right? You have to uh, let it take its course, let it run its time especially if you are coming out of a space, like it's not gonna happen overnight. You really have to um, allow things to, uh, again, come together so that they can come into fruition. All right, let the steps be, be built upon one another. Let's see where your shadow is here. So you have the will of fortune. So this has something to do with you being in a fixed state of being, um, a need to let the wheel turn. Um, or it could also be you holding on to old beliefs, right? So it's your shadow energy. So this could be hidden from you. You may not even be aware of it. Or perhaps um, you are aware of it and deciding to work on it because you have in this embodiment area, you have the temperance card. So it seems like you're working on this already. Right, and ready to um, get on a, a new cycle uh, for your life, you know, so that you can move forward, so that you can release the old and come into the new and get back to who it is that you are and feel um, expansive in your world, in your life. You know, so if, uh, if you, um, it also feels like that you're not recognizing and seeing just how lucky it is that you actually are, how much God is on your side um, out of some belief it is that you're holding on to as well. Um, if in the case you have not been open to learning something new, seeing things from a higher perspective, um, or even tapping into your sovereignty, uh, feeling like that you are restricted uh, that may be something that needs to shift. That may be that fixed nature you have going on there. So your receptivity is four of wands. So it's basically saying that you you are in a space of receiving. The four of wands is about success. It's about attainment. It's about stability as well. Uh, okay, so what you need here is stability in order to receive if you are not receiving what it is that you really um, want from life. It's like almost a need to tap into self-love and love of those around you as well. Um, be okay with who it is that you are. Be okay with who you identify as because when you get grounded and stable in that, that's when you're going to open the door. This two of wands energy here to be able to walk through it and receive the justice it is that you have been uh, desiring for your life these changes it is that you would like to make, that you see fit for your reality. And so for um, your rhythm, your cycle, your menstrual cycle uh, placement at this time is coming up as the king of pentacles. So you might be ovulating at this time, feeling very full, feeling very um, active. Um, you know, your sexual nature is very heightened right now. Uh, feeling very creative as well, very connective with others, you know, and wanting to connect, feeling very grounded in that 
as well and um feeling very capable in what it is that you are going after you know it's just there is something um that is blocking you through a, a need to let go of something that needs to change yeah so you have the solar eclipse moon energy that came out so this is about an external change so you are definitely you may be changing your appearance you may be changing your values you may um be uh just shifting how it is that you show up in the world in general you know and being very you might be doing something on your own now right and just showing the others a new side of you you know people are seeing you in this new light you have shifted you've gone through a really um big transformation here and um it is this work that you've been putting in is definitely about to pay off just recognize where it is that you are still holding on to <clears throat> whether that is has to do with something surrounding your self-worth <clears throat> if you're not believing yourself um to be capable of it um if you're not choosing to see something from a higher perspective or holding on to old beliefs especially things that you've seen growing up in your family this could also be about just being confident in general you know you may need to turn that light on for yourself and kind of get out of uh this it's almost like you're submerged underwater and it's dark under there and you need a little bit of light so that you can see things a little bit clearer because all the plant all the signs that are on this fixed card uh they they are ruled by a, a light source um scorpio by mars uranus i mean aquarius by uranus uh Taurus by Venus Leo by the sun right so love change individuality freedom um passion devotion confidence creativity all those things is something needs to shift in there in those areas surrounding your beliefs so let's see what advice you have here so you have the crumbling right so what is it that you are clinging on to what are you hanging on to so this has to do with something about um your perception of things because this is a very uranian uranian energy you know it um but it's also a aries mars type of energy very light based you know so what perspectives are you holding on to what way about going that you've been doing things what are you holding on to there it's time to let that go because it is stopping you from being able to walk into that uh, field of garden in a sense and not allowing you it's keeping you behind this dark side of the wall right which is this wheel of fortune energy which is very similar to this crumbling card so this this shadow energy is coming up and the advice really need to deal with that because once you do, once you let that go, once you move from that, it, things are going to take off for you at like lightning speed. It's going to shift drastically. So what else is here? You have the narwhal, which is a 35. It's an eight that represents the, um, eight is the strength card. So having courage, um being consistent also being fearless in the, your approach to things it says as so your confidence increases so does your ability all right so you're gonna it's a need to um really build yourself up it is making me uh feel like with this queen of wands here and the emotions that you may not be feeling very confident um and really need to connect with that so that you can move forward in a way that allows you to um, attain so that you can be in the ability that needs to show up for you to take care of whatever it is that you are needing to take care of, that you're going to need your strength in order to move forward in. 
The narwhal says success. True to yourself, you will prove to your rivals like the narwhal's tusk, you are worth more than your weight in gold. An undercurrent that had it has an opposite tendency to what is visible or apparent is at work, right? That's what I was talking about. Um, you know, that need to have patience because what something unexpected is about to happen here, right? It says a better future is assured. Let me see. It's bringing great success in a matter that is unnecessarily trouble, troubling you. A better future is assured because you make a perfect hit at what you're aiming to establish. Magical powers attributed to the narwhals indicate that you will counteract a bad predicament in that a conflict will be resolved before it becomes poisoned or dangerous. By getting straight to the point, you may choose to renounce a wish rather than settle with an unreasonable compromise. So definitely um, don't, don't compromise yourself in, in any way that is uh, not going to, that's gonna have you in a space of settling um, or that, or, or just beware of any situation that puts you in uncompromising position, right? Recognize that things are working out in your favor. Um, it's just a matter of uh, shifting when it comes to those beliefs, those thought patterns, the, um, and maybe you need to even change the path it is that you've been on up until this time um, unexpectedly. Maybe you may not need to actually shift the actual path but the way it is that you've been going about doing that, right? And um, being confident in doing that going forward in that energy. So let's see, your self card, Self-care is confidence. Wow. So definitely you need to be in your confident self um, and know that it's possible for you to be make it happen. You know, see yourself through the eyes of a mother. Love yourself. Nurture yourself um, in a way that is motherly. You know, take care of yourself in a way that is motherly. Um, be okay with how you feel about things. Be okay with how it is that you want to do a thing right because that is what is that's what's right for you that's what's best for you yeah so the second self-care card you got is rest so you definitely again the patience thing taking a break off of being so focused on uh things coming true things coming to fruition right because they are but if you are so focused on that you are going to miss what's right in front of you the things that you could be doing right now, All right? So taking some time to rest yourself from stress. It says, I take a step away from my stress and then a, and then a deep breath and then a crankiness killing nap. When I get the rest I need, I instantly become a better version of myself, able to navigate complex relationships in a single bound. When I don't, I'm not, which means I shouldn't, but I try to, and then we can't, and it doesn't, but I did. So it wasn't a uh, good night, right? Just a pattern of thoughts of trying to gather of what did happen, what went wrong, what went right, um, who was right, who was wrong. At the end of the day, none of that matters, okay? What matters is what needs to be done at this point, you know, so that you can confidently move forward in that because if you get stuck in that space, that... um that that deters your confidence it takes it away from you you know so um definitely take some time to rest on that take some time to step away from being so focused on the things coming in and uh, finally this last card we have is the waxing crescent and the waxing crescent is the two of feathers so this is about truth right and it's about sprouting so the truth is sprouting. It's coming to light where it is that you're headed, where you're going, what you want is coming to you. It's just all in a matter of um, you are, You need to refresh your energy. Speaking of fresh energy, because this is after you've planted the seed, right? So you need to apply new energy. You need to let go of whatever um, caused or, or created the need to plant a new seed, right? It's time to let that story go so that you can put in something better, something 
um, more nourishing into what's coming to life for you, you know, and this card also speaks of focusing on the details, right? So you can't focus on the details if you're too focused on where you're going and how you're getting there and when it's coming, you know, just continue to nourish yourself. Um, pay attention to your dreams, especially with this 12th house energy that there is some answers there for you. Because, yeah, you have a new life that is it's coming about. And it's definitely important that you're in the best and most abundant in um, state of well-being so that you have the energy it is that you need to begin living out this once the once you bear the fruit you know so okay pile three i hope that this was helpful for you um if so let me know in the comments you can if you don't want to let me know in the comments you can send me an email or you can dm me on instagram i'll let information is below in the description box um i thank you so much for spending this time here with me um and i hope that you have a good rest of your day, evening, morning, whenever it is that you are catching this for yourself. And I am sending you guys so much love and I'll see you next time. Bye.